So, crafties, coasters. This is what you're going to need. Fabric, iron it first. Template, fabric scissors. Some examples. Squares of fabric, definitely buy some of them. A needle, now that is for getting really lovely sharp corners. Of course, a pen or a chalk pen to draw around your template. Let me show you the next stage. Come with me now. So, prepping your coasters. First of all, I'm going to show you the ones that have already been cut for you, the samples. So what you do is you have your lovely pattern facing inwards. So that way, and then that way on top, because you're going to sew round here and then turn it the other way round. So I get my pins. So that is it for your pre-cut squares that over there and now I'm going to show you how to cut using your template now you can choose whatever size coasters you want I tend to go for this size this includes a hem so it's 14 centimeters square so what I'm going to do my darlings that's my fabric that's already been ironed so I'm going to double it over pop it on there like that and then look you've only got to do two lines now this is a chalk pen, pencil. Right, so fabric sisters, yes. Pinking shears, that's what they're called, isn't it? So I've got my two layers. I'm just gonna cut on that line. Now the other two sides are straight. Leave it like that but it's, it's achievable. If you haven't got a lot of time and you get to see them every day and you, you feel proud. So there we are, we've got our two squares. Always keep your workstation tidy. So we're gonna pop that over there for a minute. So like before with the squares, we want the pattern on the inside, the front of the fabric. And we put them together like that and we pin. Now I'm pinning in this direction for a reason because my sewing machine is going to be here and this is gonna be going in this direction. So that's why the top of the pin is there, because I can pull that out easily. So we are good to go. So this is an example of one I've done before. So I've started sewing here, gone all the way around and finished here, because this bit, we're gonna hand sew at the end. All right, so that's what we're aiming for. And I'm gonna start sewing here. And I'm gonna sew one centimeter in from the edge. That's my hem. And we're gonna pop that down like that and then we just go. I press this. What I did there, I went backwards and forwards. This is a little arrow backwards and forwards button. And what that does is that just kind of confirms where that first stitch is so it's not gonna come undone. Okay, now my foot's off and I've just put the needle into the fabric because I'm gonna pivot the fabric round because we're going around a corner. It's true. Feed dog up, needle still in and we turn. Off we go. And then we're just going to do what we did at the beginning, come across here, maybe a couple of centimetres and then reinforce it going backwards and forwards. And that is it. So there you are. Next stage coming up. We've got the stitches, same as this first one here. And we're going to trim and turn the coaster round the right way Woo with the open edge we're going to turn it round and then this is what the needle's for so it's like going to the edges and just very gently tweezing them out and then i'm just going to hand stitch very small little stitches all along and you're done So there you have it. Coaster, tea, custard cream. I hope you've enjoyed this make. I look forward to seeing you soon. Next week, more sewing. Let's get crafty. <laughs>